All right guys, check it out. We are coming through Melbourne and we're doing something a little bit special today. We have organized a tour of the Network RV factory. You know, we love our van. And they, um, yeah, we've been in contact with them. They said, yeah, come on through and we'll um, have a tour. So all those people who live out of state, this might be of interest. Let's see how we go. Oh. the lovely Rebecca. Hello. And Jim, the production G'day. manager. G'day. 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 So they're gonna, um, <laughs> Rebecca's gonna show us through Network RV, the, yep. the factory. Oh, I love, I love these vans. <laughs> <laughs> See so this van here, this is a 196 rear door, same as ours, love it. different brands now, lots of range, multiple different companies and things, so you've got your network like yours, yep. OTM, which is exclusive to Caravan HQ, the Victory on the Move, Maverick, um, and there's two more that are coming out in the next year. Wow. So this is all part of the Network RV brand. Yeah, correct, yeah, so Network RV is the corporate entity, yep. and then you've got um, personalised vans for certain companies, like on the move, that's exclusive to Caravan HQ. Up in Queensland. Up in Queensland. Yeah. We know them well, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. met them guys. Nice people, yep. Yeah. Makes you want a new van. Okay. Makes you want a new van, doesn't it? Oh, look, we can Do you want to upgrade? We can discuss that one later. <laughs> <laughs> Time to upgrade. We've got some new decals and stuff coming out. We can, there might be a van out there that we can suss out if we want to put that one on your van as well. So that's what we see. See this network RV sticker here on the car? That's what should be on the network RV vans. That looks cool. 100%. That is great. Doesn't it? It does. Look at that. They should have that on the vans. Look. You get your car that done. That looks mint. Yeah. So in the morning or in the afternoon, late afternoon, six chassis will roll in. Yeah, all right. So they'll come down here from, we own the chassis factory as well. So they come in, they line up. So you actually own the shot, the... Yeah, Joe's co-owner, or yeah, not yeah, right. or whatever he is, but... So this is what the chassis look like raw. So the chassis factory will put, obviously, the tyre suspension tanks. Yeah. And if they have airbags, they also put the airbags, like that Vancraft, which is another brand that I don't think I've mentioned. I just want to, I just want to, I, I just want to show someone. This is what I love about these vans is the suspension. If you have a look at the suspension, it's just simple and it works. So it's hard to really see here, but there's just a big a big A-frame and two shocks and a big spring. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. That's what I love. Sometimes complicated is um, not necessarily better, although this one here has airbags. So it has the airbag suspension with the tank <laughs> and the compressor. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of actuating valves and stuff, so it's probably a little bit more complicated. But you can self self level your van if you've got airbags. But I just love I just love these A frames, these um A wishbones. Because something goes wrong, I know how to fix it. It's easy. It's strong. Oh, nice. And then just on the left of that is the weigh bridge. All oh, right, eh? So, so you weigh them the all. Yeah, so once the vans are fully completed with all the appliances, they'll come up here at the end of the day and get weighed. And that's how you get your... The, um, the you tear yeah, yep, and all, all that sort of weights. Yep. Yeah, right. And then over here in the next year, this will be built as a water bay. So water testing bay. So that's coming up in the next year. A water bag. Yeah, so just to prevent water leaks and stuff. Oh, yeah. And we'll test them before they go out. All just right. Just to prevent some leaks and stuff as much as we can before movement happens, you know what I mean? So this will be an all inbuilt and hopefully fit two bays of water testing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Just a more quality control. Yeah, that's exactly right. Just get it Beautiful. on top of it before it kind of gets to that point. So this is the start of the production line here. Marky. <laughs> 
And these gas bottles are all empty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So start the line, the gas is rolled in. The store quality control them, so they'll send it through the plants for the chassis and make sure the tanks are right size and tyre size and all that type of stuff. So the, um, all the custom water tanks, so depending on how many tanks they want. Correct, yeah. It's done when the chassis gets made. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, right. Yep. Okay. All done. Unless they're a Vitron unit, then we configure them. Otherwise, yep. the standard ones, they'll just come straight in. Nice. From the chassis manufacturer. So this is the store. So everything gets delivered, obviously, in here. And the store kind of allocate per day or the day before what parts need to go in each van. Yep. So they have kind of buckets. I'll show you. So they kind of, all the electrical gets allocated per box. So every van pretty much these days is different electric. <laughs> Electrical, yep. there's, you know, Red Arc, Victron, Projector, all that type of stuff. It's, you can go all extremes. Yeah, right. All the batteries and electricals here. So theory, one box is one van. Correct. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. So that will, as soon as we know what's on the line, we chuck that box at the front of the van and the electricians know that's for that particular van. So, so it can't really go wrong. Obviously, it, it does happen, but it prevents it, yeah? So the big items we can't put in a box, so they just sit at the front of the van. <laughs> So we need to find a box with all the red arc gear in it. See it? No, it's... Love my red arc gear. So this, guy, so this is going to be a Victron tank. So that's yep. what I was saying about we have to put the senders in. So they get all calibrated by the electrician. Jeez, then the nice. flooring will go on. Dry. Like this. So this is a raw one-piece flooring. That's all one piece. One mm -hmm. piece, right through. So one piece. You can see it without the. Nice. Air. So they get delivered to us from Polter Frames, just as the one, and we just pop up them on, screw them in. Pretty nice. They get glued down like this side here now, and then the liner of your choice goes on, yep. and it ends up looking like that. So all furniture sits on top. Good everything. Cabinetry colours. Yeah. Different. <laughs> we noticed that um, you know, when we chose our colours, it was just like, you know, what colour vinyl do you want for the seats or whatever? What colour yeah, for the floors? Like so hundreds options. of colours. Yeah, yeah. This is like, obviously works up elsewhere as well, but this is probably the one company that gives you the whole range. Yeah. So yeah. there's what? 200, I think, seating options, 80 cupboards. Yeah. yeah. Just Even crazy. exterior, you can choose any colour. Like, I've got, I'm talking oh, purple, pink, yeah. green, you've yellow. I've seen the best, I've seen the electric blue. Oh, yeah. It's had the electric blue. Oh, it looks amazing. Yeah, they do look good. Oh, look at these wheels. They're pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Maybe we need those wheels. <laughs> Big ones? <laughs> oh, it's sort of funny, you know, like we've had our van for a couple of years and you think it's absolute up to date, and then you see a brand new van, you go, Oh, I think we need a new one. <laughs> That's what we are. <laughs> they just line themselves up and they'll be hoist, chuck yeah. them up, clamp them. Oh, so that's the wall ready to go, is it? There's a wall ready to go. That's what the interior of the wall is like. Wow, oh, so it's inside the wall. Yeah, okay. So you've got your cut out, obviously, for your door, speakers, light. And that'd be all um, like computer cut. Yeah, yeah, CNC, all CNC cut. I'll, I'll just nod like I know what CNC means. <laughs> I'll show you the machines later. <laughs> I don't know what we'll CNC means. <laughs> we'll get to the machines and that will explain it because I don't know the technical terms. Yeah, right. very good. This is the new damage panel walls. Okay. Also CNC cut, so it's like a foaming in the core, so there's no timber. All oh, right, so it's just like a foam. Yeah. A lot of people are going this way at the moment. I guess it prevents if no wood water leaks. The capping is a lot different when we see we'll see one getting built. Um, a little bit lighter as well. It is right. lighter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. So, what's it like as far as insulation? Fully insulated. Yeah, yeah, okay. So ours are fully fully inflated to an extent, yeah. but you got to like so if you come over here, so all your wires here go through these points. But you have your allowance to put. Insulation versus wires. Quite it's small. Yeah. So you might only get this much insulation per yeah. cabling. This one here, you've got the whole thing's insulated. Yeah, right. So, so how do you how do you get the wires through on this? Is there like externally, and then you have to bulkhead them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah
cool. and there's a lot more wiring looms and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's a different wiring setup, but they're on the outside and then we box them in. Nice yeah. and neat behind yeah. cupboards. You yeah. can't see it, yeah. but yep. nothing goes through the walls unless like yeah, right. through the actual insulation. So it's completely so is that the outside of the van there? No, uh, both the same. Both the same. Yep. So that's so there's no joins. No joins. Yeah. And yeah. then when repair wires and dents and stuff, it's just a fiberglass repair. So just okay. Nice and simple. Yeah. Easy. Most people can do it these days. And that's more people are going this way now than the timber frame, or is it about? Uh, it's still 50-50. Yeah, yeah okay. I think because it's so new, people are still a bit. Yeah. You know, everyone loves a ranty wall, but. Yeah. Right. It's really light, and that also gets put on the floor. So when you get a, when you get this style van, you get it on the flooring as well. Right. Yeah. Cool. And these little bends, that's how they bend it around the to get that front. Oh, oh yeah, cut it, yeah, then, yeah. It, then it will bend. And then it bends. Yeah. Nice. Oh, neat. So these vans are a little bit differently built. They're built from the um, inside out. Okay. So furniture in, then walls. Right. Okay. Whereas these ones, yeah, walls, furniture. What's going on? This factory is huge. Very impressive. If furniture goes in. Yeah. So furniture's all free part of the factory they meet, which we'll show you later. So they wrap it up, bring it over here in the morning, so it's ready to go straight into the new vans every day. So it's sort of a just-in-time sort of system. So when the oh, van's coming, it sort of lines up. Oh, we've got these got a day in advance. Yep. They get stored over there because over here's a bit hectic. Yeah. So they get stored over there, then brought over here. So then it goes down here. It's like it's nice and heavy. Yeah, good. Really thick. They're the roof. They're the roof panels. God, it is noisy in here. <laughs> The fiberglass roll, wipe it over there, get it over the top. So, yeah. you know, and get it rolled straight over the top. Yep. You've got the option of that, or you can have a composite roof, but a lot of people just don't find enough. Yep. So, it's still, it's still, yeah, yeah. Gotta say, the quality here looks bloody top notch. Really good. Furniture in. So you all the stuff from the front to the back. So the bed rate goes in, um, lounge, and then there's your kitchen, and then rear. Building somebody's dream. <laughs> we'll see if we go, we might not. Have a look at them all. This is a lot. It's a lot of air. So this is the start of the electrical. Big wires, two forty. Yep. Don't know what they're for. Big wires, two forty. Hello. So every every internal cupboard gets sealed. Silicon up everywhere. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Which every single seal on every cupboard gets siliconed up. That'd be awesome. What we've noticed with our van is that we've had it in some pretty wet, sticky situations, like quite a lot of water, and we have had not one drop of water. 
not a drop of water. We've had, we've had, we've had the van making a bow wave through rivers. Yeah, no yeah, water in, nothing. Nothing. Really good. And when you get the wooden frame, this is the insulation, yeah, how they fill it in. So in this stage, this is where they put like the awnings on. Okay. That's why they're all kind of hanging. Decals put, decals get put on in here. So how do they do, like, I'll look at the decals and go, how the hell do you get it so straight? And, oh, I don't know, I watch them all day and I still have no idea. They come in rolls, so they're pretty much just start here. They just they roll it out. Harder. These are individual pieces. When you've got, like, the band, yeah. that's pretty simple, yeah, they just roll it. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is crazy. So in this section, all the doors and furniture has been placed in, so the cupboard doors, the guys are going in, getting rid of some silicon and stuff, just doing final. That's a new door, isn't it? Oh no, I think that's a cat on the bottom. This is all new. What's the turnaround time from the chassis arriving to the van out the door? 10 days. 10 days to fill the van? To play 10 days. 10 days. Nice. Oh. It's always the exception, but yeah. it's the 10 yeah. days. Yeah, wow. And how many do you make a week? For? 30. 30 a week? Yeah. 30 a week. It's a lot. Top of Manchester. Top of Manchester. Top of Manchester. Top of Top of Top of Top of new monster. Yeah. That's a good looking van, isn't it? That's huge. Is that 22? Wow, look at this van. Look, the storage boxes under the van. We're only made Oh, beautifully finished. Like no rough edges, which is so nicely finished. Because obviously you lose those overhead cupboards, but you've got it externally. So you've got it through. You don't throw it through. Wow, even that goes all through. Believe it or not, there's a person. That goes in here to seal it. They climb through here. Yeah, she's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> she goes right up there and seals this whole thing. Oh, well, that's a lot of storage. That is a ton of storage. storage. Just every one of these vans is somebody's dream, someone's holiday, someone's family time. Wow. Oh, on the move now when we see these vans Gary goes oh it's a network RV I'll go and say hello he goes now he's got a lot more friends that's it <laughs> yeah. it's got the badge on it the network RV is that big hey, 
that this is a separate factory just for what like, warranty claims and servicing and do all the furniture assembly. So these are both new. So these are the CNC machines. They go off the plans as per the specs, press enter, cuts it all up. Beautiful. So it's within, I think it's like 98%, like that's how accurate it is every single time. Put it together. So this is like a little IKEA setup. They just pop, pop, pop all day. I'm surprised. I thought you would have just purchased all the furniture. A lot of companies do. Yeah. They don't outsource it, but actually make make all their own furniture. Nothing's pre-bought. Very oh, good. So it sticks, sticks all the coloured edging on the edge of the wood. Sticks this on. That's cool. So it puts a roll, and then they choose the, the face that they want to put it on. So this one was raw, put it in, and then that will rotate and kind of heat it on. So this, this is, is a good colouring scheme. <laughs> it's exactly the same as our van colour. <laughs> it's a sandwich panel ah. construction, so that's how you kind of tell if you can't see it. And you might look inside. All one piece. I'll tell you what I mean about where the wiring pin is up. Yep. And I love the fact, I love the fact that the uh, steps are actually bolted on and not welded on. Oh, yep. Because I smashed mine off. <laughs> First day we took it out, wasn't it? First day. First day, First smashed day. it off. Yeah. That's Look, it's impressive, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing some off-roading. We weren't really. <laughs> got, you know, That's I, what it's for. I got to camp, I'm going, oh, steps a bit bent. <laughs> That's not really a warranty issue. It's more of a can't fix stupid issue. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, this is sort of the layout, okay? This is more what we're talking this is about. What, this is what she wants, because she can put that down for the grandkids. Yeah, and it's just the two, you can definitely say two. So what I was talking about, the wiring with these, it's kind of hidden. So yeah, right, okay. So hidden behind there. And, yeah, yeah, that's right. And then if you're heading to the bedroom, that's it's quite so when you get the, Yeah, so when you get the yeah, nice sandwich panels, they cut the corner here. You set. No. So that hides all the wiring, because it's not in the wall. It's external to the wall. Beautiful. And then it will go through, see the little bulkheads there. So oh, it right. runs through there to go into the cupboards to light up everything you need in there. So you have these little bulk, these little um, bulkheads for the wiring to go through. Which would actually be good if you need to do anything or need to check wiring or it's, something. Yeah, it makes you it easier. Easier yeah. access, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly right. This van's also got, what is it, a truss 
Trash chassis. Trash chassis. Check it out, it's all sort of cut underneath. Look at that. That is mint. And airbag suspension. Level ride. Technology. What's happened? No, that's all right. I love the wood storage. It's me fave. But it's like there's, you could put other stuff in there too. No, just wood. Maybe other stuff. I could think of stuff to put in there. Oh, slabs of beer. I could carry my beer there. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Because it's always a problem when you've got bags and bags of wood and you know you can't get wood where you're going. How do you carry it? You end up just with bags in your car or just strapped in somewhere. It is hard. So. That is good. That is, that's gold. And a little chair. Yeah. Tidy hole for chairs. Yeah, perfect size for chairs. A little foldy table as well. Yeah, beautiful. Well, that's it. I hope you can see everything in the factory. Big thank you to Rebecca thank for showing for us coming. around. We really appreciate it, everything you do for us. Oh, this. It's our everyone knows everyone knows we love these vans our van has been so good living in it for two years and the thing has been absolutely rock solid so it's actually really good to come and check out the factory and i hope it helps i hope it helps all you people in the state who can't get down to melbourne where the factory is just had a bit of an idea the quality is really really good heaps of quality control everything that's laser cut um, and there's a sense of pride you can sort of see it everyone's proud of working here Bloody too good Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed our tour of Network RV Factories. Um, it's been an absolute joy and we have learned so much about just the quality and what goes into these vans. And uh, yeah, look, we've lived in ours for two years and it is rock solid. So we'll um, just gotta work out what is the next one we get. It'll be a Network RV, I'm thinking. <laughs> Love it. Too nice. Oh, they're all so pretty. <laughs> what do you reckon? We Hello. upgrading? Yeah, I really would like to. Some beautiful vans. That's it. Just need some money. <laughs> <laughs>